Hi guys, this is Glenis. I uh, thought I might give you a little bit of an overview of the latest version of WP Snowball. Uh, firstly, I've used Andy and Sam's products before and I really like them. They're innovative, they're, they think outside the square, they do what they're supposed to. So uh, I've been a fan for a number of years. So Snowball, I have downloaded the product, I have installed it on WordPress in the usual way and now I'm at the stage of setting it up so I thought perhaps we'd take the video from there. So in the dashboard you'll see that um, we need to do a few things, we need to get our settings done and our content sources and so forth so let's go and do that and I have to say that I got access to this version yesterday so um, it's it's still pretty new for me as well but anyway so we go to the sources tab to start with and you can see that these are greyed out but we can select our content sources Uh, and I have no idea what some of these sites are to be honest uh, so I'm just really going to go with um, some article ones and some random ones and um, then I'll see what I get later um, it will incorporate videos and um, documents as well the only thing I would say is when I was testing it yesterday that I found the blip dot tv one to be quite slow to load so um, my personal preference is to stay away from that but that might only be me and what the heck funny or die that's a good one and down into the link section now th as you can see everything is um, commented so if you get stuck it's just a case of scrolling over and you can see what you need to do so we want it to we want some of those stat links because that's not too difficult to do <laughs> if you have some wordpress.com sites you add those in here if you have some blogger sites you add those in here and so on and so forth and what will happen is that in the fullness of time because uh, WP Snowball doesn't dash out and do these things immediately it sort of does them nicely nice and slowly for you but in the fullness of time what will happen is that um, your posts will get uh, linked back from WordPress and Blogger and, and the other 2.0 sites that you choose to add in here. And you can also monetize it with your ClickBank ID. Not 100% sure how that works because as I say I've only had it for a day. Uh, but you put your affiliate link in here and my understanding is that when it picks up the correct keywords it will um, add your Clickbank link in there and Amazon is there, Commission Junction so on and so forth so we'll just save those sources as we've got them with a few media and a few content sources So that's our sources done. And our settings. Um, just a couple of things to be aware of in here really. These are the, the levels, the um hang on, I can show you that. Here we are. So 
this is level 1 and this is level 2. This is a site that I set up yesterday. And uh, there's an example on the codex site that shows what happens over a over time basically um, you know your seed post is here these are your post ID numbers um, and you can see that it's one level two levels three four five six seven and so on and so forth so when you're setting your max levels um, that's what you're doing and it goes up to 99 although um, personally I feel you have sort of lost the plot by that point um, you know it's not I don't know that there's any benefit in going that high uh, I'm a, one of those people that gently does it and so I would probably never go more than three or four and two suits me just fine um, I would probably not usually go higher than three either but you can do that that's a maximum new posts that it will make maximum links per post one is fine by me it's amazing how many posts you will get over time so um, I'm not really one for spamming the hell out of everything so one is good maximum emails per hour now some of the sources that you are setting um, are done by email so uh, bearing in mind that if you have if you're like me and you're using a reseller account you will have a limit on how many emails per hour will be sent and so I'm I've been setting those at a maximum of 250 per day you have the option to link back to the seed post if you want to and all these other things you can uniqueness filters there's a lot of stuff built into WP Snowball that um, just happens automatically auto tagging I personally prefer to keep the links and articles you know I don't have a problem with people getting credit for that for me it's all about getting traffic to my site and then you select your style I'll show you that in a second you add some keywords and this is probably the most important thing um, this is this site is related to photography so So I'm going to use photo camera. I'll just leave it at that for the time being. The if you add one of these at the end, uh, what will happen is that it will um, look for posts that have photo, photography, photos, etc. You can also um, have those particular keywords or any keywords link to an actual URL if you want to. And you can um, also, for m even more uniqueness, spin, uh, put a piece of spin text in here for the header and also the footer. template title love this feature so what we can use is um, what I found to be really good is the title and a random tag and I hit the enter button by mistake so let me just go back and correct that So that makes the 
title just a little bit unique and it brings in one of those tags which is great for SEO as you all know. And these are the styles. So um, when we were in the settings box, I selected elegant. But there's these other ones that you can use as well. And you can edit those. Um, personally, I think these look absolutely fine, so I never bother with that. And if you want to edit those, then you do need to know a bit about CSS and um, HTML. So, <laughs> as I say, they look perfectly fine to me. Okay, so we go back to our dashboard. And it's now changed to say that we don't have any level zero posts on our blog. So what we need to do now is to make some posts. So um, I love automation. So I use a product called SEO Zen and um, there'll be a link to that underneath the video. And I already have SEO Zen set up, obviously, so I'm just going to go and add a um, Google Alert. And this is, what did I say, this is based on photography, so I'm just going to pick up, copy the link location, paste. one and cool. Um, SEO Zen is, um, is a fairly new product out as well, uh, but it will take a um, RSS feed and basically pull some content in from an RSS for you. And I'm not wanting to hit that save button twice because I've done that in the past and ended up with it coming through two or three times. Okay, so there we are. We've got our alert in there, and I'll just update that now. And it should go off and make a new post for me. Here we go, published one minute ago. Okay, cool. So let's go back and have a look at WP Snowball. Okay, so now I'm never quite sure what this is. Either make a new post or click the requeue link. So I've seen this come up a couple of times. Now one of the things I have noticed is that it takes a long time to uh, for the post to actually come up when you're um, wanting to view the post directly from the uh, WordPress admin. And that's because I think it's loading a, quite a lot of um, bits and bobs at, with the post. Uh, and also my internet connection is exceedingly slow today, so here we go. So, there's my
there's my post there. The SEO Zen um, does a, a few little links in there for me, which is nice, and a another product from um, the same guys as WP Snowball um, called WP Indexer also puts in these related posts, which are directly to. Um, posts that, that actually haven't been indexed so that's pretty cool too okay well I can't see any requeue button sometimes it comes up sometimes it doesn't so let's just head on back to our dashboard so anyway so that's it that's how you set it up um, and it does it does work I have this one I set up yesterday, so it is only a d it is only a day old, and I did actually um, sneak in and, and click a couple of the posts just so that um, you know I'd get a bit of action happening there. <laughs> and when I set it up, the and I I had a couple of these posts up here. I probably had five or six up yesterday um, and then I went to bed and woke up and today I've got ten so obviously other people have been unclicking links too so that's great. Um, yesterday I didn't have this link here and I've got that today and as I say th it does these things automatically so you, you don't even know that they're happening or when they're going to happen it's just a pleasant surprise that obviously it's working as it should. Um, if we go into the settings, what it does say about the email is that um, there has been one done yesterday. So um, I don't even know what, where it went. It's probably in the log here. So there's a blogger post. There we are, there it is. I haven't been in here, so I just looking at this, so it actually does a good job of telling you where it's got stuff from and where it couldn't find stuff, so that's that's great. Okay. So that's one of the older ones. Um this is what your snowballs look like. So it actually says which level they're on when they were done. And this is a link directly to those. Oh, which is going to take forever to load. So Okay, and this is the um, WP indexer I just mentioned where it's, this is a different site again, I set up all my tabs <laughs> so this shows that um, what's been indexed, the categories, the, the tags and so on and so forth and what it's been doing throughout the day so and, and I have to say that the indexer I really like, I think it's very very cool indeed And you can set this up to actually uh, index other sites, not just the site that you've installed it on. You can you have can set it to um, index URLs on your your dog training site or whatever. So there we are. That's it. That's a quick overview. Um, I hope that was helpful for you. And um, I'll, what I'll probably have to do is put together a, maybe as a few more shorter ones so <laughs> thanks for thanks for hanging into the end <laughs>